Hey guys, Divi here with a new movie review and this time I'll be taking a look at a movie that I didn't have any sort of huge intention to go watch but I went and saw it anyway. And that movie is none other than After Earth, the sci-fi action movie starring Will and Jaden Smith. Their much anticipated reunion since the pursuit of happiness. The movie centers on a sergeant who decides to take his son on a trip to a satellite or a moon or a planet, I can't remember what it was. But he decides to take him along with him on this voyage, and along the way they get hit by an asteroid storm which manages to make their their ship crash down on a very volatile and uninhabitable planet, also known as Earth. When the sergeant becomes incapacitated, Katai, played by Jaden Smith, must now venture into the dangerous wilderness that is Earth in order to find a beacon so they can send for help. This is a very... one of the movies that is very definitive of the term meh. First off, Will and Jaden Smith, the, about... 80% of the movie centers on just them two. Everything else is CGI, which I'll get to in a second. But the movie rests on the shoulders of them two. And of course, like I said, Will Smith's character becomes incapacitated. So for the majority of the movie, he's in this cockpit of the ship while Jane Smith is out there running about. And one of the things that I did enjoy about the movie is that, you know, that whole, that father and son relationship that they had going on in which one of them was immobile and the other one was, but he was inexperienced. I liked the, the I, I don't want to say the chemistry, but just the way they worked with each other and the way they worked with not only the environment, but also the technology that was that was created for this movie, for the, for, the, for the science fiction world that they created. I liked, you know, the explanations behind some of the technology. I liked, I didn't, wasn't a huge fan of how the technology worked because it looked very, it looked primitive, but it looked the kind of primitive technology that you would expect from a movie that takes place like a thousand years after Earth goes to shit. Which is the scenario of a lot of movies that are coming out this year. You know, you got, you had Oblivion earlier in the year, you got Elysium coming out later in the year. And so all of them have to rely, one of the things that they have to rely on in, with these movies is the technology. Whether or not us as an audience member buys it. And I like the technology, but didn't fall in love with it, so I couldn't... Uh, attach myself to it too much and say, oh, I want to enjoy more time in this world. I really didn't. And Will and Jane Smith's characters, you know, they were okay, I guess, you know. Uh, he, Will Smith's character is very stoic, so he hardly expresses any emotion. And sometimes that could work, you know, Spock from Star Trek, you know, he was, he's great even though he hardly displays any emotion. Here, you know, he's okay. He's not great, but he's okay. And Jane Smith's character, you know, is very by-the-numbers teenager, you know, he's scared when he's supposed to be scared, he's brave when he's supposed to be brave, and on like a switch, he instantly turns into, you know, that angsty teenager who says, you know, you weren't there for me, or I should have done this, you know, you know where this is going. But as the movie went on, there was actually some genuine tension where I generally wanted to, to see whether or not Jane Smith's character was going to make it through this voyage in order to find this beacon, because there's all of these little ideas that the movie plays with and on, on in, in any other movie those ideas would have been thrown away and not used and not explored and here I'm not gonna say they're done in a clever way but they're used to the best of their ability and they're not wasted a minor gripe that I have about these ideas is how they're presented again you know going back to that technology it looks a little primitive but it looks a little bit basic in its prim primitive nature and some of the CGI like I mentioned before the CGI in this movie is very CGI-ish, if you want to call it that way. I mean, you're not fooling anybody. You can tell that this is an alien, this is uh, an evolved, you know, cheetah, or whatever the hell that was. This is a giant eagle. And speaking of the CGI, going back to some of the th things that I really disliked about the movie is pretty much the entire opening 15 minutes. First off, there's some even worse CGI in that opening 15 minutes. You know, there's scenes where you can clearly tell they're in front of a green screen. That you could literally crop out the detailed background and you could already see the the green screen you could easily tell that it's there it starts off you know with some exposition that was going on for too long it telegraphed a good amount of the events that happened later on in the film pile on top of that with some bad acting and some very mundane dialogue and i was instantly scared of this movie but fortunately it switches on over to like i said before it you know it centers mostly on jaden and will smith nobody else except the environment that is earth before I wrap up going back to ideas that were used not in a clever fashion but they were used 
to uh, in terms of how they could a plot device in the form of some form of structure this organ or black structure I'm not gonna go into too much detail but this thing is introduced and this thing was introduced in a creepy yet eerily cool way that I was I generally wanted to see what they did with it and then it literally gets blown up and I was like wait you had something really good here and you just literally decided to throw it away definitely a bad a bad move on the movie's part overall this is the kind of movie that you go watch you know obviously the first 15 minutes is probably gonna scare you like it did with me but as soon as that ship takes off and they crash the movie literally picks up and like I said before tension builds I like the the dynamic that was going on between Jen and Will, Jaden and Will Smith despite the fact that again Jane's character switched on like a light between moods so to serve the story but you go watch it you walk out of it saying hey that wasn't that bad and that Shyamalan did not screw up like it did the last time but then give it maybe a day or two and you're probably gonna forget it. I give After Earth a 7.2 out of 10 which is a C-. minus. Now granted in a way M. Not Shyamalan could have screwed up. I noticed in the credits that it says that he co-wrote this movie but in my opinion I think he rewrote the script because if you guys didn't know this this script was also written by Gary Whitta I believe his name was. This is the guy who wrote the acclaimed Walking Dead game. I'm pretty sure this would have been a greater movie if M. Not Shyamalan just left that script alone. Because up until this point, I thought he didn't have anything to do with the script, and I knew that he was directing it, but apparently he did. What do you guys think? Should he have touched the script, or maybe just left it alone, and this probably would have been a better movie? Post in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Follow me on Twitter at Dark, Dark, at Dark Spider David. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.